Hi guys, this is a video for setting up the ESP32 development environment with Visual Studio Code on Mac. So far, I have been working on many projects using the Arduino IDE. However, some projects in the future require ESP IDF, which is the official development framework for the ESP32. This is why I make this video. One thing I want to tell you is I'm developing using a Mac. If you need to set up for Windows, please look for other videos. They will be helpful rather than mine. Let's get it. Homebrew. Some people are familiar with Homebrew and some people may have never heard of it. This is a usable package installer on Mac. It's very practical to install and update the necessary packages using this. Uh, I will use this to install things that are needed for the development environment. You must first install Homebrew on your Mac. Open your terminal and copy and paste the URL link from the Homebrew homepage. Uh, in my case, it's already installed. If it's installing Homebrew, keep it installing. Uh, next, we will install Python 3 through Homebrew. If Python 3 is currently installed, you can skip this part. Uh, in my case, the latest version of the Python 3 is already installed, which is 3.8.5. Uh, let's check the path where Python 3 is. Uh, it's installed in the user local bin folder. Uh, by default, Python 2 is installed on your Mac. Uh, to execute Python 3 as Python instead of Python 3 command, you can apply alias to your bash profile like this. Uh, after that, the Python command executes the Python 3 instead of the built-in Python 2. Uh, it's time to install CMake. You can easily install it from Homebrew. Uh, CMake manages all the dependencies, build orders, and other tasks that your project needs done before it can be compiled. It does not actually compile anything. To use a CMake, you must tell it using configuration files called cmakelist.txt, what executable you need compiled, what libraries they link to, what directories they are in your project, and what is inside of them, as well as any details like flags or anything else you need. Uh, finally, we need to have a Ninja. Uh, in the ESP IDF, the CMake and Ninja are the build tools to build a full application for ESP32. So we must have both of them. You can download it from not only Homebrew but also the Python package index. Uh, this time, downloading it using PIF, which is the Python package installer. The PIP3 is installed automatically when you install Python 3 from a Homebrew. Uh, I'm done with all the work I have to do in the terminal. Let's move on to the VS Code. Uh, this is the version I'm using. Uh, go to Extensions. Let's install the ESP IDEA Visual Studio Code extension. Although the installation is complete quickly, there is the ESP IDEA tools need to be installed. Uh, press the shortcut key command shift p to open the command palette uh, type the esp idf on the text field and select the configure esp idf extension um, you can see the idf onboarding page here uh, specify where you want to save the configuration settings uh, i will go with user settings select the python version uh, select the path of the python tree you installed earlier uh, select the folder to download the ESP IDF and install it. Next is the ESP IDF tools. Uh, select the folder to download the ESP IDF tools and install them. I will make a folder called ESP IDF tools and download them here. Let's make it faster. Uh, finally, all set. Let's run one of the examples to check if it builds fine. Uh, after click this button, uh, select the first one which is using ESP IDF. Uh, there are many example projects. Let me choose the first BLE ANCS. I will create a project folder under the ESP IDF tool folder. Uh, here, the example project will be copied. Uh, ANCS is a revision of the Apple Notification Center service. Apple devices such as the iPhone are paired through BRE so you can get the notifications from ESP32. Uh, just think about this smartwatch. 
or alarms from the phone appear on the small display. Uh, for the simple test, I will show you how it gets the notification via BLE. Go to line number 494. Uh, let me remove the command. Uh, you will get all information about the notifications. And before building this source code, you need to set the port where you are expected to connect it. Open the command palette, select the select port to use. Uh, there is a list of available ports, select yours. After that, build your project. Uh, yes, it's building now. Uh, seems like it's working well. If you want to see the terminal, click the setting icon on the bottom status bar. The build is done successfully. Now it's time to flash your project to your connected device. After flashing is done, execute the monitor your device to see the logs. The gap of logs from the device is coming. And finally, it's waiting for the Apple device to pair. I will connect my device and see how it actually works. Uh, here is my iPhone. Uh, from the Bluetooth setting, I can find the ESP BLE ANCS. Uh, selected it to pair. Uh, after pairing, it's asking about allowing to display the notifications. This is because my device already includes the ANCS code. So iPhone detected it and asking using it or not from the user. Allow it. Uh, from the log, you can see the pair status is a success. Uh, I will do a simple test. Uh, I will get an email from my iPhone and see if ES30 can get this information correctly. I send an email from the other device. Uh, my iPhone shows the notification about the email uh, and then from my ESP32, I can see the all information on the notification which I got from my iPhone. Uh, this video is a project that I made before. It's displaying the information received from the iPhone on the display connected with the ESP32. Uh, this is all for today's video. If you run into any trouble, let me know. Uh, I hope it helped you to build your dev environment for ESP32. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next.